Hello everyone, welcome to another video for Philips Tecon DDS CAD. Good advice, work at home. I'm at home, this is just chroma key. Well, I received a comment in the YouTube channel asking to create a video showing how to create a simple title field that has dynamic and static text. Here it is, enjoy the video. All right, I will start this demonstration in a plot layout where I have inserted a title field, a generic title field from the database of DDS CAD, and that I will use as basis to create my new title field. Of course, to create your own title field uh, frame, for example, you could make use of external reference like DWG DXF. But in this case, I will create here in DDS CAD, making use of this uh, geometries, a rectangle uh, polyline. This toolbox is available when you click on the geometric shapes working mode. So if you just contour here and I would just use this as basis, I created this geometry. Like as you can see, there are a, a rectangle here and the rest is just line. Okay. Um, if I select all these geometries, and I access the properties, I will use the hotkey Alt Enter. It's good always to, to click on the Attributes tab. So from building um, the building layer type or category, you will find the subcategory title block. If you also want to have the same color for all the lines here for the frame, you can come to the category basic in the pen and then select black or another color as you call. Okay, so everything is already in the same layer and in the same pen. Next, we are going to take care of the static text. It's the text that will always remain the same. If we take a look at this uh, generic title field, we have this static text as scale, size, project address, uh, sheet, drawing number, reply for, reply by. All this text is always the same. I will make use of the function text to create this static text, okay? So I can just type scale um, and insert here and another here for size, for example. But to perfectly align this text, I would make use of help geometry. If, for example, I press and hold control key over this line, right mouse click, I can make use of this option parallel helpline and insert an offset of 10 centimeters to the right, the same here. And also 10 centimeters up. In this case, now I can just click on the text and insert and on this intersection. When you don't need this help geometry anymore, you just use this option delete all help geometry. All right, I just have this scratch, but now to, to keep going, creating my title field, I must go to the user editor. So I will select all these title fields, scratch I created, and Control C to copy. Now we go to the project manager. I click on this more button and I have to come to the user deal. So that's where I will create a new title field, okay? So I must create a code or no name for this title field. My own title field will be called TF-FF, just a code. And then I click open. Now I will paste my title field to this uh, user editor, but I want to just move this title field for this insertion point. So I will select everything again, and move by free reference point. And I will use this um, bottom left corner to insert on this insertion point. Very well. Now to prepare to, to create the dynamic text, I must activate some tabs and functions. So move your cursor to the top of the user interface, right mouse click, and I will activate the command field. Again, right mouse click and activate the command list. The command field is where we are going to insert the codes in order to create the dynamic texts. 
and the comment list is where we can see all the comments and um, that we have created inserted for for this title field okay so the first step to create the dynamic text is the insertion point we have this target here called insertion point so you click and move where you would like to insert this new text or dynamic text so i will click here you see the cross where the text will be inserted in the comment field first we are going to use a code called td or tango delta so td enter this uh, td is for text dimensions and important here is the font size which is the first parameter that in this case i will use the same size i created the the static text which is 1.5 all the others can also be changed as the line space and the line uh, letter uh, slant and also the font number but i don't care right now just click ok next step is the code to create the dynamic text there is a list with all the the parameters you can insert and i will insert uh, also for this video but um the code is tt or tango tango press enter and for the scale is two in the information to update for text category it's four for the revision number it's minus one and for text command for writing it's one so you click ok click ok again and you already see a result of one to fifty this text is there because for this project i have already inserted in the project and model information model details the, param the parameter 150 that's where you're going to insert the parameter and it will be uh, inserted automatically on your title field for the sheet size i have a3 so let's make the same first step insert point i will click here next step since the size will be the same i don't care about the the text dimensions anymore so i will go further to tango tango code and insert the code two six minus one and one press ok press ok again and as a result we have this a3 here all right now to make this title field available on your project you save it come back to your project I have the plot layout here I don't need this anymore this is just a uh, lines so remove it what I can do you can just double click a title field if you have inserted or you can come to to the title field title block function that's the same because I already have one here I access the the product database of title blocks I'll click on the three dots button and I will copy an existing title field or title block so right mouse click copy now right mouse click this for uh, copy and come to change I will change the description to new I will remove this symbol number TF and the last parameters the the last parameter is external symbol I will type the name of my new title field which is tf-ff click ok and click ok to insert your title field now you have your own title field in this video i will not instruct you on how to make this title field available for all your projects i recommend that you talk to a local support in order to help you to create your own seed project would you like to see more videos like this? So subscribe to our channel, hit the bell to be notified of the new videos. And what else would you like to know about DDSCAD? Put it on your comment below and I can make also a video for you. Cheers!